In the face of the global climate challenge, society really has only three options. Mitigation, the steps we take to reduce the pace and magnitude of climate change that comes. Adaptation, the steps we take to reduce the actual harm from changes in climate that we do not avoid, and suffering. And the key point is to minimize future suffering. The problem is that if you ask people what keeps them awake at night, climate change ranks about number 18. They need accurate information and reliable forecasts about what is happening in their areas, in their industries, in the things they care about. The more people look into what they can do to build resilience, to build preparedness, to adapt to the climate changes that are coming, the more enthusiastic they also become about emissions reductions. There are a number of options that many of us call win-win options. One example is infrastructure. We've got crumbling infrastructure, bridges, highways. We're going to have to rebuild a lot of that. It only makes sense to rebuild it in ways that are resilient. Very elementary things, like moving the emergency generator from the basement of the hospital to the roof of the hospital. That costs essentially nothing, but it ensures that the hospital will have power even when the street level is flooded. The other thing that's a big win-win solution is investing in research, development, and demonstration of mainly renewable energy options. It will boost the economy. It will create jobs. There are far more jobs in the renewable energy industry, in the energy efficiency industry, than there are in the fossil fuel industry. And we should be taking advantage of that, boosting those industries which are better at employing our workers and also making people aware of these opportunities. It's a win-win.